Hey dudes, what's happening? It's Trent here. And uh, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, uh, you know, what kind of tools uh, do I use? Uh, what kind of setup? Because there's a, a wide range of different devices that you can get. This video is really kind of geared towards people who are interested in my portable workstation. Uh, you know, how do I, how am I able to sit down at cafes and, and draw? You know, there's a number of different tools and a number of different ways that you could do that, um, including, you know, iPads and things like that. I don't use those, but I do want to go over, you know, some of what I use and why I use the tools that I use. So let's do it. Let me bring it in a little bit closer here. Oh, geez. That was close. Too close. For the most part, this is my, uh, this is the setup that I use. I'm mostly rocking the uh, Wacom Intuos Pro. Uh, this is one that I've had for maybe a couple of years. Uh, this is the medium, and these will run you about $350 from a, um, like a Fry's or a Amazon or something like that. But you can get older models and actually the old wired models are really high quality. I had one for about 10 years and it never let me down. Uh, the MacBook that I'm using is your standard uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, I've heard people use uh, the regular MacBook on uh, with Photoshop or Sketchbook Pro and it kind of lags a little bit. So I always go with the MacBook Pro. I update about every two years and of course, really pretty much that's that's it. Uh, that allows me, this is this portable workstation allows me to sit in an upright position. The screen is just big enough for exactly what I do with it. I never really need to switch to a uh, larger display, but I do have a 30 inch Mac display that uh, will plug in over here to the MacBook. So when I do work on, when I do work on something that's larger, I never really have a shortage of screen space, but for the most part, I'm pretty mobile. I'm, I'm usually out and about. When I'm at home, I'm working on, uh, this is my, let me zoom out so I can show you. I'm working on a modified desk that I built myself. The legs are Ikea legs uh, because they're motorized. You can see here that there is a, uh, motorized button so that I can raise it or lower it. If I wanted to have a standing desk, for instance, if I felt like I needed to stand a little bit more, it's great for that. Uh, if not, then um, pretty much elevate to whatever level I want. This whole desk setup, I, I found the top at a different furniture store. Uh, I didn't like the legs for that one, so I got rid of those and I replaced them uh, with these IKEA legs. The next thing I would say when I'm taking my portable workstation around, I have this handy backpack. And what's cool about this pack is that it doubles as a backpack or a messenger bag. So it has a separate padding in here for your laptop and your tablet. And I found that these fit in here extremely nicely. Uh, very quick to drop it in. It's about the same size. Zips up nicely. And I've got a section in the front for the pens. And as well as other items such as extra battery packs, pencils, whatever else I need. I keep a sketchbook over here just in the event that I might need to do a little bit of sketching on the fly. So pretty much when I'm traveling or if I'm heading out to do a little bit of work, this is my entire workstation and I can grab it on the go like this or wear it like a backpack. But if you decide that you don't really want the backpack functions, you can drop these in to the back. I never really do this. <laughs> But if you need to be tidy, it's really handy that you can kind of put these in here. And zip it up real nice. So now you've got a pretty clean, just messenger bag. One tip that I would uh, like to mention is to get an extra power supply for your MacBook. I keep one in my bag at all times and I keep one at my home workstation. So there's always a plug. I don't have to unplug it, grab it, put it in my bag. Just grabbing my MacBook with my tablet and heading out the door is really quick and easy. So I can be sitting down in a cafe and drawing within like five minutes from now um, without having to unbox or, or unplug and rewire and, and keep these things tidy. So underneath my desk here, I've actually got a uh, kind of a wire setup that keeps the plug in place so that pretty much it's, it's really handy. It's gonna always be really available as soon as I need it, like right away. And of course that keeps everything nice and tidy so that uh, I don't have wires laying around all, all over the place. This is the future, man. Screw wires. 
So that is pretty much my portable workstation. There will inevitably be people who will say, oh, you can't get good artwork out of that, but everything you see me do on my YouTube channel and ArtStation and everything I've been doing for the last few years is pretty much done exactly on you know this uh, this setup you know there's other configurations and I'm not gonna tell you you should do it you know my way I just wanted to kind of share with you some of the things that I found that just kind of give me the kind of freedom that I enjoy when I need to not necessarily be stuck at a, a drawing desk I did that for 15 years of uh, working in a studios and um, you know for me I just like a little bit more mobility it's, it's not for everybody I just like to be around people I like to see things that are happening all around me so uh, you know for me having a portable workstation is a necessary part of being a digital artist it's one of the almost awesome things about the mobility of it uh, you know as long as I've got a Wi-Fi connection I can be anywhere but there are a lot of different things if you have some tips or if you have some <laughs> equipment that you use to work more mobile uh, you know, please share those in the comments below. Uh, I have I have tried things like iPads. I just didn't like the pressure sensitivity of it. I like the Mac environment. Uh, there was for a while a uh, Mac slash Wacom kind of a tablet type of a device, and I've tried the Cintiq and things like that. Uh, but for me, I don't like to angle my neck down too much. Uh, I like to keep a good posture, and this setup allows me to sit very upright, sometimes kick my feet you know, up <laughs> on a bench somewhere, and uh, it allows me to keep a, uh, uh, a very relaxed kind of a state and uh, work with tools that are very quick and efficient for me. I do wish that there was something for my left hand. When I'm working on a desktop, I tend to use a like a Nostromo gaming pad with pre -pre uh, preset uh, keys, quick keys, for new layers and, and brush sizing and things like that. I haven't found anything that's really like a portable solution to that, and I really don't want to bust out of a Nostromo gaming pad in public. If there was a wireless kind of a single hand device with quick keys, I would use something like that. If you know of something like that, please let me know. Dudes, that about wraps up a summary of my portable studio. Uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed that. But dudes, remember, if you're gonna draw on the go, draw on the go with some freaking passion, man. Ooh, yeah. All right, ciao.